Right. The snake I've got to show you today is called Vibrance Burrowing Asp or a stiletto snake or a side stabbing snake or a Atractaspus Vibroni. Like this snake, if you ever thought of uh, does size matter, this is the epiphany of it. This snake is very small. This particular one is about 40 centimeters, it doesn't grow much bigger than that. This is a fully grown adult. Um, and this specific snake uh, put one of my friends in hospital. Uh, so it is a really, really dangerous snake. It is one of the few snakes that cannot be handled uh, safely. Uh, that's why I don't have it in my hands. On the right hand side you see a, a normal office pen, just to give you an indication of the size. Um, how do I differentiate this snake from all others? Now firstly, um, it's inconspicuous, so it doesn't have particular color or shape um, that you can say, well, look at that. Now there are a few things, and that is um, purely out of its manner. If you touch it, if you come close to it, it's got a stabbing, a very strict disposition. It it is very quick and reacts swiftly. You see that, that small movement. Um, it's got very tiny eyes. Um, if you provoke it, it bites instantly. Um, the, the, it's got two fangs and those two teeth are pointed sideways. Um, and it's a bit movable, so if you've got it behind the head, it can still bite you on the finger. This is something we need to be very very careful of. You'll find it also in the Kruger Park. Let's see if we can get a close-up of the face. Uh, there we go. There we go. See your small little beady eyes. Um, it stays underground and um, this is something that you'd encounter only at night um, and only after heavy rains. Um, be very very careful of this snake. Um, as I said, I've handled mambas and very other, many other dangerous critters, but this one I will not pick up with my hands. It's a dangerous snake. Be wary of it. Have a look at how this one looks um, so that you can identify it if you see it.